Hi children, welcome to Iklit Learning. So this is the second chapter for grade 10 ICT. So if you haven't watched my previous videos for grade 10 first chapter, please go and watch them first uh, using the playlist for grade 10 textbook. So uh, this will be the second chapter for grade 10. So in this chapter, we are basically talking about fundamentals of a computer system. And for this chapter, I'm planning to do four videos. So there, this will be the part one, okay? So what is a computer, right? In the earlier chapter also, we learned about a computer, right? And computer systems definitely make our day-to-day -day life work uh, very efficient and accurately we can do, right? So the computer is an electronic device, right? Which will be taking data, it will process data based on the given instructions and then will produce the output or the information. So information means the process data, right? So this is the basic functionality of a computer. So today now computer is a must, uh, must to have kind of a device in our lives. Uh, and these will be some of the features you can see in the computer. So first thing is speed. Right, so a computer can uh, perform some uh, task in a very uh, speed manner. It will take very less time, right? Uh, so uh, here they are talking about uh, like it executes more than one million instructions per second. So this, the number of instructions that can uh, produce, that can um, process, is actually uh, every day. Like the people are doing so many experiments to improve this. So when you, when the computer can do uh, so many instructions per second, that means the computer speed is very high, right? The second thing is the accuracy. So if you provide the correct instructions and correct data, definitely the output will be correct. But uh, you have to make sure you are giving the correct data and instructions uh, based on that, the computer will produce accurate information. Next thing is efficiency. Now, human, after doing some work like continuously three, four hours, the, a human will get tired, but a computer never gets tired, right? It can work at any time, right? Provided the electricity and other facilities are there at the same level of accuracy and efficiency. Now, a human, now think you are working like nine hours continuously. Right? What will happen now? You are, think you are doing some mathematical questions, right? Uh, initially, in the first hour, you will be very efficient. Your mathematic operations will be very accurate and you are very energetic and all. But what will happen after nine hours, right? You will do mistakes, right? You will feel tired. So, this problem is not there with the computer. Next thing is versatility. So, that means a computer can perform multiple tasks. Now, while you are doing a calculation, you can listen to a music, right? So like that, a computer uh, can help uh, to do multiple tasks simultaneously, right? So human, can human do like that? It depends, right? Uh, so next thing is storing and retrieving. So computer can store large number of data and information. So we need very small physical space, right? Uh, but we can quickly retrieve them and save them uh, when we need it as well. So uh, this storing and retrieving is very important for us because uh, it is very easy to save our data information and uh, our instructions in the computer for so long time uh, because this space is there and it needs very small uh, physical space for that. Next thing we are going to talk about is the classification of computers, right? So the computer can do various things, right? We learned in the last chapter, uh, we do uh, documentations, we have controlling machineries, there are robots, right? Health sector we are using, so different um, type of computers should be needed, right? Otherwise, if you can you use the same uh, physical computer for all the functionalities? No. Right. So therefore, we have so many types of computers. Right. So we can divide them basically uh, based on uh, two classification according to the physical size 
or according to the technology right so these are the basic two a classification we can do we can actually classify the computer based on the purpose also whether it's general purpose or specific purpose but here it was not mentioned so here it's talking about uh, physical size and the technology so when you classify the computer based on physical size first thing we are going to talk about is super computers right these are huge computers and they are consuming a uh, lot of electricity and power right because these computers have very high computing power right that computing power means how by how many tasks you can the computer can perform within a specific given time now earlier we talked 1 million instructions can be uh, executed within a second so like that so uh, how many um, tasks that can be performed right so these super computers are large in size expensive and rare and mainly using for very high tech scientific and engineering functionality especially to uh, solve very complex mathematical operations for example like nasa they are when they are, when they are doing a rocket launching they are doing huge number of uh, mathematical operations and all right especially for the large scale businesses and the military purpose uh, businesses and other activities so they are using super computers okay then comes the main frame computers Right, so mainframe computers, it compared to the earlier one, it compared to the super computers, it is less physical size, and the computing power and the consumption of electricity is less. Right, expensiveness is less. Right, so what basically happens is in the mainframe computers, uh, there is a main computer, right, which is having more resources in it, and uh, so many number of users with less resources will be connected into that previous mentioned. like main computer right then they these terminals will share save retrieve data right so basically uh, it's like the if you have heard about server client architecture it's very similar to this now nowadays we don't tell mainframe computers and mini computers actually these are uh, coming under servers right so these mainframe computers are basically used in large scale businesses e businesses and uh, where like some uh, mathematical transactions are to done right so this is how it works terminals will have less resources right they will connect to the mainframe computer which is more uh, resources having and more powerful right and then comes the mini computers so very similar to the mainframe but lesser size less powerful and less expensive right uh, some uh, it's like very much common purpose um, computers right very easy to use and here also what happen is there is a central computer and uh, different kind of users will get connected using terminals and they will share data and information right so these mini computers we can see in uh, like medium scale uh, institutes like banks okay so this is what i told the main frames and mini computers now we are not much using these are called as server computers you may have heard server computers uh, in uh, most of these businesses are operating based on the server computers then comes the micro computers micro means the small computers which we use for personal use right so our laptops and our handheld devices smartphones are coming desktops even uh, are coming under this right so they have very small memory capacity small in size less speed less expensive less uh, functionality right less uh, consumption of electricity so these are called micro computers now up to now we learn the classification based on the size right super computers were there main frames were there mini frame mini computers were there and the micro computers were there now we are going to classify based on the technology the computers are using right so first thing is analog computers so what do you mean by analog right for example if you think about speed uh, if you think 100 110 120 is that the way they have or we have some decimals in between we have decimals in between if you think about temperature right 99.1.2222 like that you can have the decimals right 
one, two, three, four, five, like that, you can have decimals, right? So uh, speed, pressure, temperature, these kind of uh, environmental parameters are actually analog signals, right? For example, if you think about speedometer, where we measure the speed, right? Uh, so uh, road lamps with uh, some kind of sensors, right? Can be at like uh, temperature-based uh, devices, right? Uh, so these things are basically analog computers. We are uh, these computers will basically work for this with the environmental parameters. So this is how analog signal will work. So it has so many values in between. Can you see? Right. So then comes the digital computers, right? Normally day-to-day -day computers or and laptops we are using are coming under this category, right? Uh, digital computers. So they are having digital signals. So digital signals means you have one zero, one zero, one zero, like on off, on off, that state only. Okay. Then comes the hybrid computers, right? Normally hybrid means what? You have a combination of both, right? So uh, hybrid computers means these are combination of analog computers and uh, digital computers, right? For example, they have given now ECG machine. If you think about the ECG machine, what is it used to? It's used to check the function of the heart, right? So our heartbeat is an analog signal, right? It's you may have seen that green color screen right when normally when the death happen it goes as a straight line so that thing it's a, having a uh, like analog signal right so this analog signal which is the heartbeat will be converted to a digital signal right and then will be displayed on the screen okay so that is the end of the first part of chapter 2 of grade 10 ICT so we'll meet again so if you haven't subscribed my channel still, please do subscribe and please do comment and like, right? You can ask any questions if you have. So uh, uh, press the bell notification as well. So you will get the notifications when I upload new videos. So thank you very much.